السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله This is Imam Kareem Abu Zaid uh, at the airport the only place I know maybe beside hospitals where you still have to uh, wear the mask. Uh, this is a quick reminder. Ramadan is approaching and this is a month the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam attributed heedlessness and awareness during it. ذاك شهر يغفل عنه كثير من الناس. And one of the greatest signs of ghafla, of heedlessness, is not being excited regarding the forthcoming month of Ramadan. And being excited here does not mean to jump up and down. It means to prepare for it. And one way to prepare for it, brothers and sisters in Islam, is to train oneself for the ritual of fasting. Therefore, the Prophet وسلم, was not seen fasting many days during a month out of Ramadan except the month of Sha'ban. Another way to prepare for Ramadan and show that excitement is to scan through your last year since last Ramadan and see maybe you missed some days and you did not make them up. Maybe you have committed a major sin during that time and you are to repent from it because by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, living until Ramadan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prolong all your lives, will qualify you for an automatic forgiveness of the minor sins. But major sins, you have to figure them out, you have to name them, and you have to repent from them. And repentance means doing it for the sake of Allah, regretting doing it in the past, abandoning, abandoning doing it in the present, vowing not to do it in the future. And if the sin indulges the violation or the transgression against another Muslim, uh, whether financial rights, whether uh, moral rights, try to settle these before the arrival of Ramadan. This is a reminder. Jazakumullahu khaira for me and for you. For me first and for you. Jazakumullahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.